Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Arc! Since last time, I went back to the inn to heal up all my party members, and I decided to bring in Macia, because, well, now that she's at level 4, she has Ice Rock Nail, and that'll be really good against these guys. Even though they have 50% Ice Resistance, you'll still deal more damage than I would with the Power Arc on an Axe. So I figured this is the way to go now. Start trying to get some more experience for my allies. We've got a few more of these same foxes to kill. So I'll take care of this guy and be right back after I take him out. Oh, you're the innkeeper who wouldn't let me stay here, huh? Alright, took care of that guy. And as far as healing goes, I would just have Felice do that with her own MP. Since I'm having Maesia go on the offense there with Ice Rock Nail. But eventually she will run out of MP one way or the other. Alright, took care of that guy. And, okay, Maesia is almost out of MP. So let's just use more health and we'll sub her out for, well, someone else. So let's see. Let's take the power arc and let's bring in Mirian who could still deal pretty good damage to these guys with, what was it, Firestorm, I think it is. Yeah, I mean, it won't deal as much damage as Ice Rock Nail, but it's still better than the Power Arc in an Axe. And also, one thing I did off-screen there, maybe I should have mentioned it earlier, I gave the Nightcap to Maesia instead of Mirien here, while she was in the party there, so... Yeah, I, I don't want to buy two nightcaps just to be able to not have to switch it back and forth like that, so. But alright, one more to go. I'm a silent protagonist. What did you expect? Okay, took care of the last one there. So, let's see. Gained the level for Felice there to learn Ice Rock Nail for herself. And that'll be really useful, not right now, but in the near future. Let's heal yourself up there. Also, let's see, Mirian learned the Stone Spell, which, well, does what you think it does. It petrifies an enemy, but it is a temporary status. They could eventually recover from it, so you might want to watch out for that. And let's see, okay, we're done with Mirian. I want to give the Power Arc now to Tokyo. Because he got up to level 5 to learn War Cry, which is a really good ability coming up here. Also, let's see, who else gained the level? I think it was Maesia. Yeah, she got up to level 5 to learn Wish Song, which is basically the same thing as the Sleep Spell, but it's free. It is really good, too, for her. Really good for crowd control here. Okay, I think... Let's see, Tokyo, yeah, you'll need a little bit of healing there. And as far as equipment goes, same stuff on Felice. And I've already got the best stuff on Tokyo there, too. So I guess you're the guy in charge around here. I think that's French for purpose, or perhaps more literally, reason for living. Well... I'm about to get in your way. For boss time! Against the Metal Fox. Now, with this fight, I want Tokyo to use Warcry. What that does is it boosts your power stat of all party members by 10%. And it's free, unlike the power spell. Ow! Yeah, he, he can do that. Now, the reason why I want to use Warcry here is because this fight is the second of two boss fights where the boss has very high elemental resistances and they have the ability to... Uh, what is it? They have the ability to heal themselves, so... Yeah, let's go with another Warcry. Yeah, the problem is that I can't overpower their healing with my regular physical attacks alone. 
and my magic just isn't powerful enough either. So you need something like Warcry in order to get the damage so that you can overpower their healing. Otherwise, you're just going to have to run the guy out of MP. Now, if you had Ramir, that would be really good because he could cast a power spell and then you wouldn't have a problem. But, since I don't have Vermeer, I'm going to have to use Warcry. So yeah, this fight would also be better with Vermeer instead of Felice, but I still think Felice is far better in the long run. And eventually we will get access to items that will let us uh, boost power, so I don't have to worry about not having the power spell, but for now, yeah, it's a bit of a detriment. Now, you, you might see what I'm doing here. Uh, the way combat works in this game, I think, is identical to the Seventh Saga. The way it works is, well, whenever you have access to all your party members, that's the beginning of a round of combat. And whenever a round begins, all the enemies target a specific character. And whenever that character takes their actions, then the enemy will do whatever it is they're going to do. If the action they choose... Uh, what was it? Yeah, if the action that they the enemy chooses can potentially target that character, it has to target that character, or at least that character. So, like, if they have a multi-targeting spell, you could st they could still hit other party members, so you want to watch out for that. See, I think I'm almost at max here. I think uh, one more after this would max out my power stat at 100%. Now, you saw earlier what I was doing was after Tokyo used Warcry, but the Metal Fox uh, didn't attack yet, that means that since I know he wasn't targeting Tokyo, I knew he was going to be targeting Felice. So that's why I had Felice guarding there to protect against their potential physical attack. And then I could deal a little more damage there. But now that I've got my power stat maxed out, I don't want to guard. Because if I do, I've already hit the cap of my power stat anyway. And then I would lose 30% power uh, once guard wears off. So, yeah, you don't want to guard anymore. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're pretty well maxed out here. So now we can just go all out. Let Felice take care of the healing if necessary. I think the most damage this guy could do is with lightning. He could deal like 45 damage. So yeah, if my HP gets a little low like that, it would be a good time to heal then. Hmm. You know, I'm getting pretty close to winning here. Let's not chance it. So what I like to try to do, since Felice is my healer, I like to let Tokyo go first, usually, so that way, if I really need some healing, I'll have Felice ready to go before the next round of combat starts, that is. So you see there, the Metal Fox uh, used more health, so we gotta be able to deal enough damage so that way we can power through that before it gets another chance to do that. Boom, we're good to go. So yeah, it's kind of like the King Mole 2 fight there, where, yeah, they just have so much elemental resistance and a healing spell, and without Warcry, I don't have a way of buffing up my power stat. So those boss fights, they just take a while. For the rest of the game now, for I mean, boss fights still take a little while, but they're certainly not nearly as mundane as this. We're going to get more abilities, more spells... Eventually, more party members, too. But for right now, we can only use the one party member. But yeah, once you get three party members, then the game gets really interesting. 
interesting with the strategies. And one thing I really like about this game is that it's one of the very few instances where they give you more party members than you can use at once, yet all the party members are useful. They have their own unique niche. And it's not immediately obvious what that is, like a Final Fantasy X, let's say, but like I don't have to force myself to use otherwise inferior party members just to give them some screen time, like a Legend of Dragoon or something like that. No, nah, no. Nah. This game, I, everyone will get plenty of screen time. Some will get more than others, but... Wait, what'd you say? But yeah, I mean, everyone will get some amount of screen time here. Oh, right, yeah, that guy. Hmm. Eh, I wouldn't worry about him. It's probably not a big deal. Okay, so now here, let's see, we got a little apple puzzle to solve. So let's see. Now, I'm going to show two variations of this puzzle. The problem with this one is that it's random. So it's not like before where I just knew the puzzle solution in advance and that was that. Now, no, that doesn't work here. So there's two ways you can solve the puzzle, horizontally or vertically. So I'm going to show you the horizontal way of doing it, if I can. So what I do is I get the p upper left piece there first, then I get the upper right piece here, then get the middle upper piece below that, and okay, yeah, this one worked out very easily there. So that's one way to solve the puzzle horizontally. Let me see if I can't find a vertical puzzle here, and I'll be right back once I find that. Okay, I think I've got a good puzzle here to show what I was talking about. So, I've got the horizontal row done, but I don't think I can solve this one without moving one of those upper pieces there. So, now what I need to do is solve it vertically. So, first things first, get the lower left piece in the middle there, and then I need to get the left middle piece up there somewhere. So, let me see what I can do. Let's go like that. Okay, that'll do. So let's see if we do it like this. So solve it vertically first, and then do it the other way. Ha-ha! There you go. So those are two different ways you can solve the puzzle, because sometimes doing it one way doesn't work, depending on how all the all the pieces are laid out there. But all right, we get the Nasty Bludgeon, which is a weapon, for, or a staff-type weapon. And where is it? Okay, I want game. Okay, I want to give that to Maesia. Not that she'll ever be able to deal more than one damage, but it's there. We might as well give it to her. But all right, well, let's see what they got at the shops here now that we've driven away all the foxes here. Oh, yeah. Hmm, if only. Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. We have a spy? Oh, uh, or that. Okay, just don't park at me, man. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah, the Elder kind of sent us over here for that. But it, it didn't seem like the Metal Fox had that arc that they were talking about. Hmm. What do you mean? Huh. So, what do we do with them? Oh, hey, all right. Hmm, is that like, uh, Bullminch's heart? 
something? Spoiler alert! Yes! Ah! Okay, well, whatever works for you. See, I don't... Oh, there is someone over here. Okay. I was going to say I don't think anyone's over here, but there are. Oh, okay. Well, I can keep that in mind. So, well, if we get some seeds, well, that's where we could uh, plant them, like the guy was saying. Okay, whoops, I uh, accidentally sold a weapon that I didn't want to, so I had to backtrack a little bit. But now, we're going to get a better weapon for Tokyo, so I want to give the Black Bastard Sword to police there. That'll be better than the axe, since I'm no longer going to be using the power arc there. And let's see, is there anything else I want to hold on to? No, I don't think so. Let's see, with Kamuwu, yeah, there's nothing there. So, okay. All right, so let's see what we got. We got the Gorge Smasher, which is a little stronger than the Black Bastard Sword for Tokyo there. So we'll grab that. Let's see, I also want to get the Rock Cleaver, an axe-type weapon for Kamiwu there. The Gourd Smasher, by the way, is considered like a katana-type weapon, and we'll see a whole bunch of those throughout the game. Okay, so... Oh, any other weapons? I don't think so. No, no, they're all good there. And let's see here. Okay, so for armor, let's see, let's get the Crimson Gi for Reshine there. And then, let's see, there's another one, the Tin Bucket for Lux there. I, I would imagine that's a piece of headgear for him. And I guess the lid to the bucket could be used as a shield? No, no, not for, not for Lux. So, all right, well, that's all the, well, I can sell some stuff, but I'll take care of that off screen but anyway okay so we're done there let's get back to watermelon town we got to get back to the shrine and well see what we can do with those hearts there see if the elder has anything to say yeah what happened nice but where can we find the real seeds then Find out next time on Let's Play Mystic Arc! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!